<laughs> and us being silly. Hi everyone. You got silly. Hi everyone. We are back once again. Hi Lee. <laughs> Hi David. How you doing? Good. We're just being silly, and now we've started our podcast. Yes, that, I figured that was a good note for us to start on. How's everything going with you? Things are good. It's finally cooling down in LA to the point where a sweater is theoretically possible. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good gauge. You know, it's just kind of sweater sweater weather. You know. Yeah, sixty eight here is freezing cold, and sixty eight in the east would be a blessing. Yeah, like I'm. It's like fifty for here in Boston, so it's just kind of like, oh yeah, it's actually like cold and jacket weather. <laughs> yep. No, it's very odd. Like, now we have to move stuff away from the closet that has all our jackets. Yeah. So anyway, just to catch up, um, would you like to do an update of what you're doing first, or do you want me to go first? I'll go, because your stuff is really cool. Okay. My is this scarf that I'm now on the sixth and final color change. Ooh. I had done two repeats per color. That's cool. But I think two repeats per color does not get me quite halfway. Okay. So I think towards the middle of the scarf, I'm going to do one repeat per color and okay. then get back repeats per color. If that oh. makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Because otherwise it'll be too... So I'm Goldilocksing. I'm Goldilocksing my scarf. <laughs> that sounds good. I, I thought so. I do... I must say, I do like the patterns where you can just kind of adjust like that. Where you can just be like, okay, this... I need more or less or something. And it's just easy to be like, okay, I'll just do this. I'm yeah, I thought that that would be the only way to to use this beautiful Miss Babs yarn that I bought yeah. potentially four years ago. But do love it's wonder. I love working with the Miss Babs yarn, and I think the colors are beautiful. So I understand why her Rhinebeck booth is full, and I wish her all the best. And if I were better at dealing with crowds, I would buy it every year. Yeah, I mean it looks really nice. I do like the color scheme of the scarf, and so it. I definitely am a fan of the palette, so it's good. Yeah, Fab's fantastic yarn. If you can get hold of it, it is good. Yeah, it's one of those things, it's like, make more so I can buy more. Yeah, I know. It's like, use your independent dyeing skills 24 hours a day. Or just make bigger batches. <laughs> yeah, but she is magical. Yes. I will give <laughs> Let me give you more money, please. I beg of you. Please take my money. Yeah. So... For me, I finished my blanket that I was doing for myself. Really happy when it came out. Um, really with happy with the size because it really is kind of like a lap blanket. So that way I can keep my arms free. But what I'm actually kind of excited about is a good friend of mine who I've known for like years and years. Um, she has two daughters. One is like five, one is like ten. And they wanted okay. What they wanted. Their both birthdays are right around then but they wanted mermaid tail blankets. And they've been asking, and I've been seeing around, like seeing this around for a while, and I was like, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity. I will be Uncle Dave, and I've actually started on my first mermaid blanket. So this is the main body, it's pink. Um, but I, lo I really like it. Um, so... It's really awesome. It's not as complicated as I thought it was going to be, um, but I'm really liking how it's just kind of, you bring the yarn to the front, skip a couple of stitches, then bring it to the back again. Um, so, but also how the tail, tail is going to be actually, for this one is going to be blue, so this is the tail. That is, um... And I was interested, I... For the pattern that I got, it was, um, I was a little worried that you have to do it all in one piece, but it's actually, like, you make the tail first, and then you do the body, and that way, um, you just sew it together, um, later. Which is nice, I kind of like that more, because the body circle is knitting in the round, and the tail is just on straight needles, so it's kind of, makes a lot more sense, so. The other one that I have to do, the purple is going to be the tail. And they both like pink, so I got pink for both of them, so. Um, and also that way they can, you know, tell it apart and not argue about it, which I'm sure every mother will. That will's. is a smart choice to yeah. make sure they don't argue, because I want a mermaid blanket at this point. I'm jealous. 
Yeah, like, that. that's also the thing. Like, there, I've had one or two of my friends just be like, hey, listen, if you happen to get around to it and get the pattern, you know, I might be willing to pay you for this, so, um, yeah. But it's really cool, it's really kind of simple, it's just, like, repeating until you get to a certain length, then you... Um, decrease and end, so, um, it's good. That sounds awesome. Yeah, looking forward to it, um, but I still have, I'm now in just, like, the body of the tail, so it's just kind of, like, knit until desired, so it's gonna be good. I approve. I, uh, am literally just gonna be working on, uh, my scarf for the near future. I continue my no-buy, which I That's realize good. has gone for almost a year I've been on a new buy. That's good. You're much better knitter than I am. I mean, I <laughs> no, no, I'm just a knitter who's made a lot more years of mistakes than you are. And I'm excited to knit it down. I think knitting down my stash is going to be, you know, a huge thing to do for the next few years. Yeah, I mean, I it, mine has been growing kind of at an alarming way, way recently, but also a lot of it has been for projects. Um, like this, like I brought the yarn specifically for this project that I'm doing now. Um, the stuff for the friends, he got it specifically for that. So it's just kind of almost like one in, one out. It's just like get it, do it, get it out, so it, it doesn't go on a shelf. So, um, but there was some sales here and there that I was just like, you know what? I want this in my stash for a while, so that way. Yourself. But I don't know what I'm going to do after this. Luckily, I have a little bit of time before I have to make that decision, so. I mean, you could knit a turkey for Thanksgiving. I will not be done with these mermaid tails by the, by Thanksgiving. There is no chance, yeah, no, unless the five and ten-year-old are one foot tall. Got yeah. a lot of knitting to do. Yeah, like, I am good and I'm decently quick, but I am not that quick. Um, especially since it is a little little complex. You know, there is some counting and paying attention that you have to do, so I can't just go and go and go. You're speed racer knitting and not the floor. Yeah. I feel like that's a good metaphor. Um, but yeah, I definitely had to like frog a little bit and just like, oh god. Pay attention. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there, yeah with this scarf it's a lace pattern that should be simple because it's like knit two yarn over knit one yarn over and then next row knit one yarn over knit one yarn over knit one and then it, like you get to it being on the right and i forget to move it back because it's like a diagonal and you're like how did it turn into this wavy chevron there are a few mistakes that i just let happen yeah i mean that's the kind of nice thing about doing something for yourself it's just like you know what how much do i care about this oh, very little actually i'm just gonna keep going <laughs> It's remarkable how little I care about the accuracy of things for myself. Yeah. I mean, it still looks great, so I'm happy with it, but it's just like, I don't... Mm. It's good. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's like, color is pretty, is warm, done. Yeah. Yeah. I think, that, I, I think I'm slowly realizing that's the benefit of knitting for myself instead of just for other people or what have you. It's just like, oh, I can be a little bit sloppy... And it's okay because I'm still happy with it, so it's okay. Yeah, I mean, that's literally all you need. Yeah. But I will continue to knit for others. But I'm I'm really happy with the, with this current project, so it's going to be good. Yay, I believe in you. And we'll have more progress next week. Hopefully, I am uh, past the midpoint of my scarf next week because I am about one-third of the way through now. Okay. Sounds good. I'll, I will have more of this body um, of the fish blanket. Mermaid take it. Wow. I might need to go to sleep. Mermaid tail <laughs> next week so I can give you a better picture of what it looks like. Um, I will also put a link of where I got the pattern in the description below for the mermaid tail. Um, and I might bug you for, the, for your pattern so that they know where to find it. It is called Wheaton, W-H-E-A-T-E-N, like Wheat-N, 
And it's a uh, for Jared Flood's line of patterns. Is eight dollars and available on Ravelry and BrooklynTweed.com. Excellent. Again, I will put it in the uh, description below just so people can find it. Yep, I'll find the link and I'll uh, text it to you after this. Sounds good. Anyway, I think that is the end of this week's chat show with Lee and David. Um, we will see you next week. Bye, Bye guys. guys.